Hello and welcome to seleniumelearn.com. This is the first of a series of videos that will give you a quick introduction to the open source test automation tool, uh, the Selenium tool which is getting very popular in the market. And to show you how the Selenium IDE performs, I'm going to take chasestudentloans.com as a website that we will do a simple test to see how the Selenium works in the background and how it can record our different activities that do, we do on any application. So to do that, I'm picking up Chase Student Loans. And out here, what we're going to do is, once we start this URL in the Firefox, we're going to open up the tools and go to Selenium IDE. Now, once you have your Selenium IDE open, by default, we are in the recording mode. So you can turn off recording by clicking on the red dot and turn it back on by clicking back on the red dot. Now, the instruction that we have given to the Selenium tool is to record any steps that we perform on the Firefox browser. So what is it that we're going to do on the Firefox browser? We will click on the budget calculator. This is a very simple tool that will enable users to go into that application, enter expenses and income and be able to calculate what is the amount of loan that any student will require. Now if you notice as I continue and as I perform different user actions or different user interactions with that application there are three things that will get populated on your Selenium ID. The first one is called the command. This will instruct Selenium to perform specific actions or steps. These are like your methods on your QTP. So this answers the what to do part the next is the target. The target is basically used to identify the elements or the similar things as objects in QTP and using this the Selenium ID is able to recognize and identify where will these commands be performed on that application. The third one is the value. The value is basically for example if I go into tuition out here and let's say I enter 400 and you would notice that I typed and that is the command what I did where did I do that the target is tuition how did the Selenium IDE tool capture it using certain attributes which will come to in later videos and the value that I typed in there was 400 now let's go forward and type in a few more uh, set of data points and see how the application performs and then later come back to discover how we can replay the same. So I've entered just a few of them. I've entered tuition, book and job income and as I enter them you will see the lines of code getting generated. Now I'm going to click on the calculate button. Alright, once I've clicked on the calculate button I'm going to say start over which will clear all the fields and I have completed the application functionality that I wanted to show you. Now I'm going to go back to Selenium ID and say stop the recording. At this point, what we have primarily done is we have taught Selenium to perform specific steps. So before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a test case. So I'll go to click on File and say Save Test Case As. And let's name it as CSL1. All right. What formats that can Selenium store and so on is something that we will explore in future sessions. But this is a quick introductory session for you to get started. Now what we have done is we have created a test case, an end-to-end -end execution of a specific functionality. Now we want to give instruction to Selenium on how to run the same. To do the run, the first thing we're going to give instruction is what mode? Do you want this test to get executed very quickly or do you want it to take up step-by-step -step in a very gradual manner? So I'm going to set the speed of execution to slow and click on this icon which will run the current test case. So what we did so far was a record and then we saved that test case. Now I'm saying Selenium can you play back whatever we did a record on. So let's click on play the current test and see what happens. So it will start with the first command you will see that step getting highlighted in yellow and as soon as the step gets executed correctly you will see that it will get converted into green. And what is important for you to note is 
to do any verification you've got this code generated but when I clicked on the start over button the whole uh, whatever was displayed got deleted now the additional feature that you could do and which I wanted to show you is click on any of these steps right click on any of these steps and you'll be able to perform various operations what will focus currently is a very simple thing called deleting a specific test step so I'm going to delete this test step and try and rerun the same test case again now this time when it runs it will stop at the last statement which is a command to click on a button the command is click and the button the target which is answering the where part is basically to calculate now here is where the results have come in on the application and what you see is we had entered this information and clicked on calculate and this is the outcome of that so this is a quick introduction of Selenium ID how we can do a quick, uh, simple record and then be able to run those test cases in the future videos we will try and explore many more features but more importantly is how do we take these features and get the benefit of creating automation frameworks around it so look forward to more videos from my end and thank you for your time and uh, take care